Hey guys, Chelsea here from Making Manzanita. Welcome to our channel where we share weekly DIY and renovating tutorials. If you haven't already, we would love it if you would subscribe to our channel so you don't miss the next one. Today we're teaching you how to make these paper bag snowflakes. First, you wanna start by grabbing your supplies. For this, we're just using cheap brown paper bags and then grab a hot glue gun. I love this cordless one. It has a charging base, so all you do is plug it in, get it charged, and then once it's green, um, you can use it and you don't have to worry about that cord, so that's nice. So you wanna start by gluing together nine paper bags just like I did there with the hot glue gun in sort of a T shape. And uh, you wanna focus on getting the bottom and the middle of the paper bag glued together. Next, you can cut out the shapes from the sides of the paper bag. Now, feel free to get creative here. Uh, no snowflake is uh, like the other, so feel free to just do whatever design you want. The only thing that I would do is keep the snowflake pattern symmetrical on both sides. You can see all the way through the snowflake when it's opened up. Um, you're also gonna wanna be sure you have a nice good pair of sharp scissors because there are a lot of layers to cut through. And Keep in mind, it's gonna make a mess. Uh, here are some of the designs that we went with. Next, grab that uh, cordless hot glue gun again, and then do that same thing. You get that T shape of the hot glue, so all along um, the top there, and then all the way down the middle, and then you're gonna open it up and press the glue together, and just hold it in place until that glue is set for about 10 seconds or so and it should be nice and secure by then because hot glue is pretty strong. But if you feel like you need some extra security there on the top where it's opened, you can um, staple it if you want to. But I didn't need to. The hot glue was nice and secure once I pressed it into place and it kind of set up. And then you can get them hung up on the wall. So to hang ours, what I did is we had two um, command hooks, the clear ones, and we hung those up uh, along the edge of the ceiling, like very where the ceiling meets the wall. And we put about five uh, clear mini hooks and then we strung several layers of fishing line in between um, the hooks and we tied them to the two outside hooks. So we had several different places where we could hang the fishing line. And then you can see there, we used uh, a paper, uh, a hole punch to make a hole at the top of the snowflake to run the fishing line through. So, th but they look so good once they're on the wall, but I decided they needed just a little something extra. So I decided to make a garland to go up with the snowflakes using cotton balls and they look just like snowballs. So there's your supplies. You wanna start by just threading um, the needle with that same fishing line you use to hang the paper snowflakes. And then you're just gonna grab regular cotton balls. Uh, it works best if you kind of pull them apart and make different size um, cotton balls to go on the string so they don't all look the same. That makes it look a little more organic. And like I'm doing there, you just string all of the cotton balls onto the string. I used about half the bag. And then you wanna gonna bring it into place where your snowflakes are hanging and grab that hot glue gun again, and then spread out the cotton balls. Um, and I spread mine out about six inches or so, but just depends on whatever space you're hanging it out on, um, how long you need the garland to be. Then you can hang it up again using the same hooks you did for the snowflakes and it just adds a little something extra to make this giant uh, 3D paper bag snowflake wall kind of come to life and look sort of like a little winter wonderland. Uh, this tutorial is super easy. Hopefully you guys uh, caught up on everything that we shared on the video tutorial and you're able to do this yourself. If you have any questions, just let me know. But I love this craft because it's very inexpensive to make and it's so easy that even the kids can help you with it and I promise they'll have a great time helping. Um, it's a great way to get your whole family involved. These would also look super fun hanging in your windows for winter decorations. Uh, they don't have to go on the wall like I have them. They could literally go anywhere. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you're enjoying some of the Christmas crafts that we've been sharing this time of the year. Feel free to check out this whole playlist. Uh, we have tons of different, uh, very easy and inexpensive Christmas ideas, whether it's a gift or a decoration, we have it all for you guys. All right, if you haven't already, be sure sub to subscribe to our channel here and then check out this video next. See you next week.